do in five minutes how the NIM mix net works to grant uh, network level anonymity and transaction privacy, and then very briefly talk about how you would use this with Monero. So what is the NIM MixNet? The MixNet is an uh, anonymous overlay uh, network, uh, similar to something like Tor or ITP, and it shares certain similarities with those things. So uh, first of all, traffic is multiply encrypted and then routed according to, um, routed, unpacked, routed, and unpacked uh, according to the public keys of the nodes in the network. Right? Where it starts to differ is that all of the nodes that are online in the NIM mixnet, so this is clients as well as the nodes that are actually doing the kind of mixing, which I'll show in the next slide. Um, what these basically do is they send cover traffic between themselves, right? And this is a way that the mixnet tries to prevent traffic analysis um, because when data leaves a NIM client, then um, what happens is it's actually all chopped up into identically sized uh, Sphinx packets, right? So then suddenly the kind of traffic analysis that you can start doing when you can just see uh, as a global passive adversary, you know, uh, can look over a whole network and they can maybe see the pattern of TCP IP or UDP packets going in and out of a network. Then they can maybe start to kind of like make assumptions uh, regarding the sender and recipient based on that metadata, right? But this is our way of um, basically making that a lot harder or impossible. Furthermore, we uh, add timing obfuscation. And what I mean by this is that before each hop, so like I said, you know, it's like onion routing, you have um, packets that are multiply encrypted, a mix node will take it, unwrap one layer of that encryption, and then pass it somewhere else, uh, much like in Tor. But what we have is we add a small variable timing delay, basically, to each of these hops. And what this does, in combination with the cover traffic, is uh, makes it a lot harder to actually like follow traffic through this system, right? So this is it's not quite a deep dive. I'm not sure why it's called a deep dive, but you can basically see this. Traffic will leave your local NIM client, so that's either something in an app or something that you're kind of just running as a persistent process on your phone or laptop. Um, it will then take three hops through the mixnet. Uh, each of these mix nodes is passing dummy traffic, fake, identically sized traffic between themselves, and there's a very small timing obfuscation added to it. And then what happens is all of these anonymized packets leave the mixnet at exactly the same rate, right? And they go to either a service provider, which is there, or another user, say if you have it, you know, a chat app, I want to be talking to you via the mixnet, right? So how would you then use Monero with the mixnet to kind of get some of these uh, anonymity, these privacy affordances, right? So what you would do right now is there's a lot of Monero wallets that speak SOX5, and we have a SOX5 client, which is basically a binary. You run it as a process on your desktop machine, and what it does is you basically pass all of your traffic into this SOX5 client, and that will then ping it through the mixnet, right? But what's at the other end? What's this service provider that's on the right-hand side there? And that is kind of where my call to action comes. So I'm actually the developer relations for NIM, and it's my job basically to get people to build with it. So what we need, um, actually, after I wrote these slides, I find out there is actually a proof of concept of this on GitHub, which is great. Uh, I don't know who made it, but please keep working on it. Uh, <laughs> you basically need something that would then broadcast an RPC transaction that you've kind of sent through the mixnet, and then whatever node actually takes in that RPC call, it doesn't know what your IP address is. It can't make any kind of like timing analysis based on when it hits the node, right? So it's kind of basically obfuscating your metadata. Um, so this is the most immediate way, but we're also looking for people to integrate with us natively. So having this built into desktop and mobile wallets that when they start up, you can choose to send it through the mixnet and send it through a local name client, basically. And that's my five minutes. So yeah, uh, we have a grants program that's coming up. Um, if you want to build on it, get in touch, either at, uh, or right here, or at max at nimtech.net, or grant at nimtech.net. Cheers.